I'm gonna fix this mess myself. Yoga. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday. And let me tell you, okay, I did not sleep very well last night. And I am really actually kind of angry. So I guess subconsciously, you know how like <clears throat> when you dream and stuff, like you think about all the stuff that's happened um, for the day and like whatever is like weighing on you and whatnot. Well, this whole washer and dryer situation has me really angry. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I did some research this morning because he gave me, he, he, he did give me the number to the part that my dryer needs. So I looked it up. Cause he, the, the amount that he charged me for the, the new heating element is what it needs. He charged me, or he wants to charge me $130 for the part. I bought that part cause I looked it up to see how much it costs. That part costs $26 on Amazon. So I bought it, okay? I'm gonna fix this mess myself. It is not a difficult part to fix. It is actually a very easy job. And I'm glad that he didn't finish the job because I didn't pay him the full amount yet. He had me pay a $150 deposit to come back. And like in the moment, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what's right, what's wrong. I need time to pray about this. I need time to like do research. Cause he didn't give me an estimate. He just started working. And in the moment I'm like, you know what? Like I'm gonna support this, you know, this small business, like I'm gonna support it and I'm just gonna be chill. So I'm just gonna try to fix it myself, I think. I just woke up just feeling really frustrated and I honestly want him to refund some of my money back. So yeah, we'll see what happens here. But I'm gonna let Geraldine talk to him still because I want, I want my deposit back that I paid for him to come back and then I'll feel better. Anyway, good morning. <laughs> I just really had, to, I mean, I took a lot of time this morning and just prayed and, you know, just, just really felt like the Lord speaks to me in my dreams. I just, I just woke up feeling just kind of bothered, just like, just bothered. This is why I hate calling repair guys and I hate dealing, especially when it's like, I know nothing about anything. Like when it comes to washers and dryers, I don't know about washer and dryers, but if I, if I would have known what to look for, I would have just done the research and tried to fix it myself. Anyway, praise the Lord. Everything happens for a reason, and maybe this is just an opportunity for me to stand up for myself. Because when it comes to things like this, sometimes just to avoid the conflict, I'll just pay it. Anyway, today is going to be a good day. I woke up to snow, you guys, which is super weird. Did not expect that at all, because the weather has been actually kind of decent. Um, I'm gonna fill some boutique orders, and I'm going to finish that dresser today, because I didn't do it yesterday. I'm going to try to fix this dryer, and yeah. Praise the Lord. But anyway, other than that, I had a dream, my dad was in it, and in my dream, my dad said that he bought a new car and it's he wanted to see if I wanted to go on a road trip to go get it and I was just like yeah so in the dream we were gonna plan to because um, I guess the car in the dream was in California so we were going to fly out to California and then road trip back so I, it was really interesting it was very interesting. I don't know where that came from. Um, I don't know where that came from, but it was interesting. And it was like, it's funny because like the, where he was when he asked me to go was in the house that we grew up in. So it was, it was just an interesting dream, but yeah, guys, this weekend has been weird so far. Like what? First I get like, this whole cop situation with Jason's truck. And I get cheated by a repairman. Not how I wanted to spend my weekend. But you know what? Praise the Lord. I feel like the Lord is just, you know, testing me. That's, I feel like this, I mean, life, life is just a series of tests. 
It's a series of decisions. It's like, how are you going to deal with this situation? Because our whole, all of our lives are just a series of situations that we have to choose how we handle. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's always gonna be something, always. It's never not gonna be something. So it's just up to us how we decide to handle it. And, and you know, I'm just so grateful for the Holy Spirit because my spirit is so sensitive to things. I know when something doesn't feel right. I know when I need to like perk up and pay attention because the Holy Spirit always tells me. And you know what, like I might be quiet at first because I need to make sure, like I'm not just someone who's gonna react impulsively. I'm gonna pray about it. I'm gonna, you know, take a step back. I'm going to make sure that I'm not overreacting and make sure that I'm right. Because again, I don't know, I know nothing about washers and dryers, but I know what my spirit is telling me. I don't have to know about washer and dryers, washers and dryers in order for the Holy Spirit to tell me something's not right here. So I am always one to just kind of take a step back, think and pray, then respond to situations. So I'm really grateful for that because now I feel confident in confronting the situation and you know, with Geraldine's help, honestly, because I'm really, really glad that she knows them that well. Because that's very reassuring. But I am going to let her help me. Because I, I mean, I'm here trying to prepare for a, a whole baby. I don't have money to be wasting. Anywho, all right, let me go pray. Because clearly I need to. And then I'll be back. finished putting together the baby's dresser which I have there's a to the two top drawers though I have to readjust because they're kind of off kilter but I'm not doing that today but then after that I got the boxes together and all the like scraps from the packaging and things like that shoved them in the boxes and then took the boxes downstairs threw those boxes away took orders to the post office went to the bank I went to go get donuts because I'm like, you know what? I'm in a donut mood and I'm going to enjoy some donuts today, okay? Because I woke up to snow and I was a little cranky earlier. And then guess who I ran into? I ran into Jer Bear. She was getting her nails done next to the donut place. So I went into the nail place and we chatted. So we're, I'm actually going to go with her. She's in, she's in charge of my baby shower, which I'm so grateful for. Um, and I'm going and sh so I'm gonna go with her to our friend Michael's house. Um, he just bought a new house. He offered his place for the shower, um, so that's where it's gonna be. So she was gonna go over there just to like see his new house. He's really excited, you know. And then also just kind of scope it for the shower. And she asked me if I wanted to come with. Now, I don't care where the shower is, so I'm not going because I want to make sure it's the right location. I don't care where the location is. But I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with her. So, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, this morning, I ordered the parts for me to fix the dryer. No, yeah, I ordered the part, but then I needed to get a, a socket wrench set because Travis took mine, thinking it was his, and it wasn't, but whatever. So I just bought another one. It wasn't that expensive, it was like 25 bucks. So um, when I get back from going with Gerilyn, I'm gonna fix this dryer. And Gerilyn actually talked to Rob. I'm really interested <laughs> to hear what he said. Um, but she's getting ready to pick me up now so that we can go to Michael's. But let me run to the bathroom. I look a mess, but I'm just gonna go like this because I've got a lot to do when I get home. But um, yeah, I'm interested to hear what Mr. Rob says. So I'll find out when I see her 
when I go down. So I'll check in with you guys later. It is Sunday and the last time you saw me I looked way better than this but I <laughs> I went with Gerilyn to go see Michael's house um, beautiful house like it's so beautiful I'm so happy for him um, and then we just chatted with them for a little bit then um, oh mr. Rob the appliance guy Felt bad because I didn't say anything to him. I was just in shock. Then I also don't, I don't want to cheat him if he feels like his prices are fair. But I just don't, I can't spend that money. So, um, like I told you guys, I ended up getting the parts. And if, as you saw, I replaced the part. And I'm not done putting the dryer together because, like, I don't, I've never done it. I was literally just winging it. Um, and I got far. I, all I have to do is replace the front cover, reattach the cords, and then I'll be finished. But the drum wasn't fitting properly, so I had to... I ended up, um, like, Googling and found a video... Um, that does step by step showing you how the drum fits and whatever so now I know how to do it for sure I feel very confident I'm very proud of myself because I replaced the entire heating element and not only that but I know like anything that could go wrong with the dryer like if the belt breaks if the heating element goes out if the thermal fuse needs to be replaced if the motor needs to be replaced, like, I know how to do it now. And I'm excited about that because now I don't need to call a repairman. I just need to, you know, get the part and replace it myself because it's really not that hard. <laughs> so my dad would be very proud of me. My mom would be proud of me too. But I don't know if my mom would attempt to fix an appliance like that. Now, obviously, you know, Mr. Rob helped a lot by diagnosing it because I wouldn't have known what to look for. But, um, but yeah, the fact that he took it apart and all that stuff is intimidating to even think about trying to fix a dryer. But now I feel really confident and now I can keep that dryer forever. <laughs> Unless something happens that I have no clue how to fix. But Mr. Rob is going to give me my deposit back and because obviously I don't need him to come back. But he was really nice about it and Gerilyn talked to him and... Uh, I'm going to call him and talk to him and I was really upset yesterday but I think I was just more sick to my stomach because I mean it was so expensive like I literally could have bought a brand new set of used washers and dryers like I might as well have just bought a new set you know what I mean so it just it was just very painful especially because I'm trying to you know prepare for this baby and like I'm gonna be off work for eight or nine weeks and like you know i'm just like i can't I don't have money to waste you know what i mean but he felt confident in, confident in his prices i just wish that he would have quoted me before he began the work because if he would have quoted me i would have been like oh i don't know so anywho everything happens for a reason it is what it is so i'm about to turn on some transformation church 
And I'm gonna listen to that while I finish this dryer. And yeah, I'll record the rest of it. There are just a couple of adjustments I have to make with the dryer. <clears throat> so uh, I put on some, like this shirt doesn't even really fit me. I look a mess. <laughs> I look a mess. Whatever, I don't care. I'm not gonna like wear cute clothes just to fix a dryer so that I don't get judged on YouTube. It's not happening. So love me for me. Take me as I am, okay? Because I look a mess a lot of the time. This is real life, okay? This is my real face. It's swollen. <laughs> it's, it's pregnancy swollen, but this is my face, okay? Anywho, oh, we also did a live um, yesterday, real quick, before I get off here, because I meant to get off here. Um, Gerilyn and I, yesterday, we're gonna film for Real Talk Thursday, and it just, like, nothing just, nothing felt right to talk about. So I was like, you want to just do a live? And she was like, yeah. So we did a live. We're going to, de we decided that we're going to start doing a live every other week on, um, I don't know, Instagram or YouTube. I'm not quite sure yet, but we'll figure that out. Um, or maybe both. I don't know. I don't know which one. Actually, we never really talked about that, but we did it on Instagram yesterday. So that's that, but anywho, just wanted to mention that before I get going, but I'm about to go ahead and get this done so that I can, you know, clean up a little bit and eat. I'm gonna eat a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna eat like a snack, protein shake, and some fruit or something first, tackle this dryer, and then uh, clean up a little bit. And then I wanna spend the rest of the day editing, so, cause I have a lot to edit, so. That's that. So wish me luck. <laughs> I don't feel like I need luck. I just need the Lord to help me. But I feel pretty confident that I'll get this done. And it'll be beautiful. Now I can do my laundry without a hassle. Moment of truth. Now, there's one thing that could potentially ruin this entire operation. And it's the fact that when I went in there, he had unplugged two cords. So I had to guess about which one goes on top, which one goes on the bottom. So if it doesn't work, the only reason why it doesn't work is because I have to switch those cords which means I would have to take it all apart again and do this again so please God let me have attached this properly let's take a look and see if we have success so first we got to plug it in after everything's attached we just have to plug it in to make sure that it's still heating or that it is heating because that was the issue. I smell heat. Hopefully that's not a bad sign. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fully functioning dryer. Hallelujah. I did it! I'm so proud of myself. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Now I can do my laundry. 
Oh, sorry. One second. That's why he rose from the dead. Because what? I am so happy. Oh my gosh. Oh man. That is such a relief. Now I'm just gonna clean up. I'm gonna throw a load in to see. See what we can do. I feel very accomplished. It feels good to know that I can fix this myself. Like that's huge. So prayerfully nothing blows up, <laughs> but um, I'm feeling pretty confident. So yay, thank you God. Okay. All right, breakfast is made. Buffy's been zooming around, but I made breakfast. I made hash, little mini hash browns, bacon, eggs, and one piece of toast. That is my breakfast. And now I'm about to, I ordered some groceries because I want to eat that salad again. That salad is so good. So I want to eat that again this week. I want to have one today. Um, and once the groceries come, I'll put them away. And yeah, I feel so good. I'm so proud of myself, you guys. Like I feel so accomplished. It's such a load off my back, not having to worry about a washer and dryer. And the fact that like if anything happens, unless it's electrical, I can do it myself. That is huge. But yeah, I'm just feeling really, really good, really, really strong, very proud of myself. But I'm about to eat this breakfast um, and then see what the rest of the day brings. I still wanna do some cleaning. Um, I have somebody coming to pick up those boxes so they can use them as moving boxes or whatever and yeah 